Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can estimate the abundance of different isotopes. Okay, there are two different questions that the examiner can ask you on this. So let's have a look at a question for an example. It says there are two isotopes of copper, 63 copper and 65 copper. The relative atomic mass, which is the average mass of your isotopes, is 63.5. So the question is, the first one is which isotope is more abundant? So to be able to answer this, you need to know what the word abundant means, and that is nice and simply the percentage. So in other words, which is there more of? Which has got the higher percentage? Now to be able to answer that, what I always do is write out the mass of my two isotopes and draw a line in between. I'm going to put halfway in, which is 64 in this instance, and then I'm going to write on that line approximately where my actual relative atomic mass is, which is 63.5. So that goes in here. Now all you need to do to work out which is more abundant is find out which one your relative atomic mass is nearest to, 63 or 65. And as you can see, it's closest to 63, therefore copper 63 is more abundant. It's as simple as that. The more complicated question is where the examiner will turn around and say this. So we've got the same information, however it says estimate the abundance of the isotopes. So what is the percentage of copper 63 and what is the percentage of copper 65? Now the easiest way I find to do this is to start off by working out the difference between the masses of the two isotopes. So 65 take away 63 is 2. So that is the difference between my two isotopes. Now the easiest way I find to work out what the percentages of my largest isotope is to work out the difference between my largest mass and the relative atomic mass. And then this can work out the percentage of my highest abundance. So I'm going to draw my 63.5 back on this line down here. And then I'm going to work out the difference between my 65 and 63.5, which is 1.5. Now to figure out the percentage, all I then have to do is take that number and divide it by the total difference. So divide it by 2, which we worked out in step 1. And then to turn it into a percentage, all we do is times that by 100. So 1.5 divided by 2.0 times by 100 comes out to 75%. So I've got 75% of my copper 63. It's always best to check you haven't got it the wrong way around. We said in part one that the 63 was the highest abundance, so it should be the highest percentage. 75% therefore is correct. So to work out my 65, the percentage of copper 65, there's only two isotopes, so you know it's going to be 25%, but let's just check it. So we work out the distance between 63 and 63.5 this time. So that's 0.5. You divide that by our total distance, which is 2.0, and times by 100. Put that into your calculator, it comes out to 25%. And that is everything you need to know for this video. So let's have a look at a couple of questions. So the first question says, lithium has two isotopes, Li7 and Li6, so a mass of 7 and a mass of 6, and the relative atomic mass of lithium is 6.96. So what does this tell you about the abundance of the two isotopes? It's worth one mark. So nice and simply, which one is the highest abundance or which one is the lowest abundance? Then question two, estimate the abundance of the two isotopes. So pause the video, have a go at both the questions. If you're not sure, go back to the information that I went through earlier on. Have a go at it and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So question one, what does this tell you about the abundance of the two isotopes? So if you've got 6.96, which one is it closest to? So remember what I'd always say do, draw your line. You may have done it the wrong way around, but that doesn't matter. And put your relative atomic mass in, which is gonna be around here. 6.96. Which one is it closest to? 7. So 7 is the most abundant. So you're going to get one mark for saying lithium is more abundant or there is more of lithium 7. Or you could have said the reverse argument, lithium 6 is less abundant or there is less of lithium 6. Question 2, which says estimate the abundance of the two isotopes. This is where, again, we draw out, draw it the right way around this time. And I work out what my distance is. So what the difference between 6 and 7, which is 1. And then I place my 6.96 on, which is going to be around here. And for my largest abundance, I figure out the difference. So I'm going from 6 all the way up to 6.96. So that is 0 0.96 there. And for my smallest abundance, the distance between 7 and 6.96, which is 0 0.04. So to work out my percentage, of my largest abundance, 
which we know is this one. I go 0 0.96 divided by 1 times by 100, and it comes out to 96%. And then for my smallest one, which is this one here, I do 0 0.04 divided by 1 times by 100, and that comes out to 4%. That is everything you need to know for this video. I have got a review question for you, which is rubidium has two isotopes, 85RB and 87RB. The relative atomic mass is 85.4. What does this tell you about the abundance of the two isotopes? And then estimate the abundance of the two isotopes. So exactly the same question, just with different isotopes. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.